What is up guys, today I have a really awesome tutorial for you and that's going to be on how to install Baker's automatic transition plugin that he made for After Effects. If you don't know who Baker is, uh, I'll have his channel down in the description. Really awesome guy, makes really awesome stuff for After Effects. Um, he 100% made this transition uh, plugin himself, so I'm not taking credit for that at all. I'm just going to show you guys how to actually install it and uh, use it. Um, as you can see, I already have it in my animation presets, but if you don't already, you just want to go to your uh, C drive and then program files, Adobe, and whichever one you have After Effects in and support, and then go to uh, presets, as you can see I have it right there. Um, it does have to be a folder, it can't be a, in a zipper RAR, but uh, that's where it's at. Um, if you have After Effects open at the time and you're doing that, just go to these three little bars and hit refresh list and it'll show up. But um, I already have two clips dragged in here. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a new adjustment layer. And then I'll just rename that transition so that we know what's up. Um, and then we just go over here to our animation presets, and then Baker's uh, uh, preset or plugin, and then just drag that onto the actual adjustment layer, then hit OK. So we can go down here to this little drop down bar or arrow, and then drop down the effects one. So we can go down to curve editor, and then we're gonna go want to go to the uh, the beginning of our um, second clip which is my uppermost one and we want to drag the keyframes from uh, this curve editor part we actually want to drag that um, to the we want to drag the third one to the beginning of this second clip so I moved my cursor to the beginning of the second clip just to mark where it's at um, just go ahead and highlight all of them and then you can just drag them over at that's about right. Um, you can use the keyboard uh, shortcuts to snap it, and that'll be much better. But we're just gonna bring the arrow back up, and then the way it is right now, there is going to be no actual effect. You actually have to go up here and change um, some of the values. I'll go ahead and uh, move these arrows up, so it's just easy, a little bit easier to look at for you guys um, here in the video. But all these ones that he put uh, edit next to, those are all actual individual uh, values you can change to make the transition look different um, like X slide we'll go ahead and change that here we go we'll put that up a little bit we'll do 150 and I was ran preview for that guy uh, for you guys um, actually now we got to move the cursor got to move the cursor over here guys I'm uh, having brain farts but we're gonna pre-render that for you guys um, this is actually a really awesome plugin. I've been using it on all my uh, After Effects um, editing I've been doing lately. It really helps um, and it saves a lot, a lot of time. Oh, let's go ahead and play that again for you guys. As you can see, it slides off to the left. Uh, we'll go ahead and change that back to zero. We'll change something else. We'll change uh, blur strength. We'll change that to 200. And now let's move the cursor back over here. Not like I did the first time. We'll play that through. Um, I know my computer ramp is a little bit slow, but um, the actual blur strength on that didn't look like much. Maybe I had to change the value up a little bit more, but it did did do a little transition there. We'll put that back down to zero. Um, we'll try something else for you guys. Uh, scale strength. Let's make that 200. We'll try it this time. Um, you can change multiples. All these values at the same time um like you change the x slider and the scale strength at the same time it'll make the transition a little bit different as you can see it zoomed in uh, they, these are super smooth and will save you a lot of time uh, i've never really tried it on the cinematic but as far as clip goes it's really awesome i like it a lot um it makes editing way 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 more easier in after effects design not good with this at all um well, that's it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, I know it was a little bit of a shorter one, but thanks for watching. Um, please go check out Baker's channel. He's got some awesome stuff up there. If you need any help with After Effects, he's got you. Um, like I said, thanks for watching, guys.